Hello YouTube. Um, I'm gonna do a review of some kit what I've got. I'm going to hopefully show you my kit as one or two people that I do speak to via email have asked what I use. But the main thing is my kit it's based on lightness, practicality, functionality and most of all comfort. That's what I buy it for. So by no means do I want anybody to think that uh, it's all this, that and other, you know. I mean people buy the kit, you know, to suit themselves, you know, which I have done. But I am a great believer, you know, that you get what you pay for. But anyway, I'll go through what I'm uh, using, you know, and see what you think. So here we go. <laughs> so this is uh, my sleeping bag that I use. It's uh, Mountain Equipment 0550. I bought this about 18 months ago because I wanted a lighter sleeping bag, you know. I did have previous to this, you know, in the jungle like. But this one, yeah, it's re I really like it. Uh, next to that is my cocoon goose down pillow, the black one, absolutely fantastic piece of kit, relatively cheap, love it, love it, squashes up, you know, to size of a tennis ball. Uh, below that, here, that's my cocoon silk sleeping bag liner, another great piece of kit, very light, adds two or three degrees to the sleeping bag but what's good about it you can use on really hot nights just that on its own really really nice nice piece of kit I, I like that as well uh, next to that is my Thermarest now this one is Thermarest X-Therm uh, four season one but there you go it's practical functional and it's four season you can use it all year round there's no need to have any other Waterproof, rated really highly. Next to that is my new tent. I will be reviewing this this weekend, you know, so I'm going camping this weekend on Dartmoor. Me and Dartmoor Wanderer, Steve, we're going to have a couple of nights up there. So I will be trying this tent out. Next to it is my older tent, my MSR Hub Hubber HP. Absolute fantastic one-man tent. I really love it. You know, three season, brilliant. Can't fault it. If this new Uber NX is anything like that, you know, then, well, you're onto a winner. Uh, I bought this Uber Uber NX for a simple reason. I wanted a bit more room. This is a two-man tent. And it's probably, I think, four or five ounces heavier than the HP. It weighs in with crown sheet, extra pegs, guy ropes, what I put on, and zip pullers at one point seven kilos which is really really light for a two-man tent you know with all that extra stuff added to it you know that goes down to practicality functionality and comfort again this is what i want uh, here is my toiletries pack towel here fire starter toothpaste bug spray wet wipes my knife that's a joker, absolutely love it, only cheap, it's probably a lot better on market, but I really do love this knife, really do love it. Don't get a lot of use, I use it, you know, for chopping bits of twigs for an open fire if I do have one. Other than that, you know, yeah, it's there. Uh, next to that is my Swiss Army knife. Uh, here, the this is my UCO candle lantern. I do have the, uh, you'll see a candle lantern, I do have the um, LED unit in the bottom of that. I really like that, you know, as it do, and when they say, you know, it does bring temperature up a little bit in time, it does. Not a great deal, but it does, and it does stop condensation. Not that you get a lot of condensation in them tents. Uh, next to that is my uh, Petzl Neo Head Torch, as you can see. Battery life, fantastic functionality fantastic 
absolute brilliant piece of kit brilliant piece of kit uh, next to that is my water my water filter which is a Sawyer little backpack, backpacking one uh, I do have a travel tap and I take that with me as well uh, in this bag here this is well actually it's still got my food in it uh, there will be a couple more items going into that you know tomorrow when I go camping uh, this one here my trusty Tranja. I absolutely love my Tranja. Now, it's open to debate, Tranja. There's a lot of people say so there's a lot of lighter stuff on the market. Yeah, I'll totally agree. There's lighter stuff. There's Avenue DX Stokes, you know, uh, Caldera Cone Trail Designs. You name it, you know, they've got it. But if you look at them for what they are, you look at the Tranja, you've got your windshield, you've got your burner, you've got two cooking saucepans, you've got a frying pan. All in one, all packs down to that, and that actually weighs £1.6, six ounces, which is really, really good, you know. I can do gourmet cooking on this, gourmet cooking. You compare it with the time you bought, like, say, for example, your Avenue kit or your trail design stove, if you want to do gourmet cooking, you can't because of a simple reason, you know what they are. You've got to buy other things. Once you buy them other things, you're coming straight back up to this sort of weight. So this is why I stick with my Tranja. Uh, any questions, ask me. Uh, my first aid kit, obviously, you know, I never take any chances, you know. I never skimp on that. I could line it if I want, but I never skimp on it just in case. Uh, my clothes, bag spare clothes there uh these bags what i use actually i like these i use these i had these when i with my kayak the palm ultra light dry sacks absolutely brilliant you can use them actually as flotation devices they're absolutely fantastic you know you roll them up you know the old air and everything you know totally waterproof very very light very light right what i'm gonna do i'm gonna get some more kit out and show you my um, hammocking kit because there's a few tips what i'd like to give people i mean take them or leave them it's up to you i'm just showing you what i use you know what suits me but i will show you uh, my hammocking kit you know what i use and then what i will do a bit later on in this video i will pack all this away and show you exactly what i weigh what i'm weighing with food and complete kit I can. so I'll speak to you in a little bit hello YouTube well I'm back again I've just got my hammock stuff out uh, this is hammock what I use NSC Explorer Deluxe I absolutely love it I rave over this hammock I really do I mean each to their own, you know, these people probably said these better ones on market. I love this. I did do my own work with it, you know, so I did try one out. I absolutely love it. Fantastic hammock. Very, very light. Uh, this is top. What I bought. It's an uh, extra large one. What I use. I haven't quite used that in anger yet. I just used one what came with it, you know, but I will do. But uh, tips on hammock stuff, what I use, if you look down here, you can see I use Rapol rings and carabiners, you know, to hang my hammock. Uh, reason I use these is because they're a lot stronger. They're all climbing grade, so a lot safer, you know, and you can rely on them. Yeah, they're expensive, but you're only buying once, you know, absolutely fantastic biscuit. But... Uh, a tip what I wanted to say to anybody out there, you know, that do hammock, is uh, my jet boil, as you can see here, I do use my jet boil, you know, I used to use it for camping, you know, I used to walk around with it, you know, blah, 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 and then I dropped on some, I thought, oh, how hammock in one day, and I was, you know, and I thought, oh, God, what could I do? So I bought jet boil hanging kit. I guess you can you get know what I'm going to say. What an idea, you know. I can hang my jet boil from my ridge line, make myself a cup of tea, do myself a quick meal, you know, while I'm sat in my hammock. 
to anybody, you know. And like I said, this, uh, I think about 25 quid to buy. Uh, this is also a bit of my Amakin kit. It's my MSR tie pot with cup and my MSR pocket rocket, you know, what I use. But I love it. Absolutely love it. You know, any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, over here, this is my Amic quilt. And this, this is so comfy, you know, it's like, it's just like wearing a mink coat, you know. But for those of you that do go hammocking, you know, I'll know what they are. I mean, this one made by UK Hammocks. And uh, a big shout out to Matt at UK Hammocks, you know, it's absolute fantastic piece of kit. It was custom made, you know, so it was done so exact specifications, what I wanted. It has got draft tubes. What can all be singed up, you know, it is gooped down, you know, it's absolute beautiful material, you know, as you can see, I use carabiners, you know, to attach that, and that's, that's, that's brilliant, like I say, UK Amex, you know, uh, just give Matt a call, you know, and he'll make them to any specification. Uh, right, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put all this stuff away, I'm going to put my camping gear into my bag, and then wait for you. And show you what's what. Uh, while while I am still videoing, I'd like to give Luke Outdoor Issues S101 a quick mention. I really like Luke. You know, he's a fantastic bloke. You know, I have uh, learnt a lot from him. You know, got a lot of good tips. You know, by watching his videos and whatnot. Uh, Steve Dartmoor Wanderer, another friend of mine. You know, I speak to him a lot. You know, that's what I'm going camping with, you know, in the next few days. Uh, Griff Tinder Pals, you know, absolute lung, but I love him, he cracks me up. Gary Fisher, brilliant lad. Uh, Big Chief, Steve Flanders, all, all great chaps, you know. You learn a lot from these people, you know, as if you uh, look at the videos. But like I said... Uh, Kit, what I've showed you today is my kit, you know, it's what I use, you know, it's what makes me comfy when I'm out hiking, you know, and like I said, so there's no endorsements, you know, to any of the products, MSR, you know, stuff like that, I love their stuff, you know, the tents, the equipment, absolutely fantastic, I've used it for donkey's years, donkey's years, uh, a quick mention, uh, clothing what I use, I swear by Berghaus, I love Berghaus stuff, reason I use Berghaus is for a simple reason. It comes under my four criteria: Lightness, practicality, functionality and comfort. There you go. And what it is, my Berghaus coat, I can wear it to go to the pub in. I can wear it to let my dogs go out in. My shirts, the everyday wear shirts, you know, they're not just aimed at one thing, you know. So really, they are, they, you know, they, they, they're worth buying. You can wear them every day, you, you know, if you want to go out, whatever, you know. Uh, my rucksack, which is here, this is a Berghaus Bioflex 6510. Now, I could lighten my kit even more, a lot more. This weighs in at 5.6 pounds, but do I sacrifice comfort? you know, to gain, I could buy a really light one, you know, and knock two pounds off at weight, but would I be sacrificing comfort? I think so, so I, I stick with this one, I really love it, I've had it a few years, you know, and it served me well, and it is so comfy, when you pack it properly and get it fitted properly onto your back, you know, you really don't feel any weight, you know, uh, quick, quick look, you can see, you know, that's what it is, and it's, Bioflex 6510, you know, absolutely love it, and that's a back system, totally adjustable back system, you know, adjustable straps, adjustable wear, every, everything, you know, like I said, I could buy another one, you know, and and knock two pounds off my weight, but like I said, if I want to knock two pounds off, I'll just lose a few pounds, you know, as in uh, fat, as they say. Anyway, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get this stuff put into my rucksack and I'm going to show you exactly how much my stuff weighs, you know, when I go out camping. 
and this is what I call luxury camping, you know. You know, I am comfy, I'm warm, I'm dry, and I've got all right gear, what I need, you know, what suits me. Right, so I'll stop there for a bit, you know, I'll get it packed away, and then we'll get to weighing it. Right, welcome back YouTube. Uh, I've got everything packed away, uh, sleeping bags in its stuff bag. Uh, like I said, this, this is full this, you know, there'll be another two or three items going in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave that out, because I know they say you don't weigh food and water. So, as you can see here, everything's in here. Uh, this is that pillow, what I showed you earlier, you know, it's in its stuff site, you know, absolutely brilliant, you know. No, they couldn't get even smaller. You know, my firmer uh, tent, uh ground sheet, silk liner, uh, pipe towel, everything's in there, uh, rest of the stuff is in top, is in top, you know, rest of my stuff, I mean I'm only showing you this uh, because probably there's some person, uh, some wise guy, you know, what probably said, oh he didn't put all stuff in his bag, you know, and that's why it was this, that and other, you know, rest of the stuff in there. Sorry about that YouTube, uh, battery died on me. So anyway, we were, well, like I say, you know, we're going on to wait, aren't we? So as you can see, everything's packed up. You know, like, oh, I will be putting these in. That's my, my clothes, spare clothes, trousers, shirts, socks, and what have you. Uh, I'm going to put this in now, so I'm going to have to put camera down or stop recording for a while while I get this in. But hold on, wait. no, I'll do it this way. I'll try and shove it shove it in while, you, while you're there so that's that's my full uh, my clothing sorry all in here uh, transia all in here uh, sleeping bag in uh, and we'll, we'll leave it to that. I'm just going to go and get my weighing scale. So bear with me. I'll be back. In. Hello, YouTube. I'm back. Uh, as you can see, I've got my scales. And if you look carefully, you know, they're quite accurate, these, you know, the uh, Salter luggage scales. And on top, I don't know if that's, if you can see properly, they're set to kilos. So I'll do them in kilos and I'll do them in pounds. So it's fully, fully packed. The only thing that's missing, like I say, is uh, food and water but uh, I do believe that you don't weigh food and water you know as your overall pack but bear in mind uh, this is for comfort camping so I'll reset these and they set at kilos as you can see so just bear with me I can hold it still 9.6 kilos see 9.6 kilos which ain't bad as far as I'm concerned I'll change it over to pounds so as you can see now if you can see properly that's in pounds bottom right hand corner so I'll try it at that which is 21.4 pounds well, there you go. Anyway, YouTube, that's about end of my little vid. I hope it turned out all right, you know, because like I said, I'm not really any good at doing these sort of things. Uh, I hope it's helped a few people. But don't go rushing out trying to buy kit and all this, you know, all at once. This has been built up over a matter of time, you know. Like I said, I'll buy some. And then when I want to improve it, you know, I'll sell what I've got, you know, and then I'll improve it. And I've done it like that, you know, and I suppose I've been fortunate that way. But like I say, you know, there is a lot of other videos out there and whatnot, you know, what people do, you know. And you can learn such a lot, you know, there's a wealth of experience, you know, and uh, advice, you know, out there. So I hope you like this video. Uh, when me and Steve 
go camping i think we're going to video that you know so you'll get a full review on uh, my two-man tent you know it's like i say comfort is what i go for so i hope this all anyway I'll speak soon take care bye